Hello everyone, welcome to our second Star Rapture devlog in which we'll be shedding more light on one of the core pillars of the game, base building. Let's get started. The base you will construct is the true core of Star Rapture's gameplay. You will not progress or even survive without it on this hostile planet. Our design principles were to make it both functional and personal. There is no right way to plan your base. You will choose where and how to build it. To progress, you will need to focus on resource extraction, setting up production and preparing defenses. Expanding your base will allow you to create new equipment and let you go farther on your expedition. After landing on the planet, the building tool will be the first thing you get and it will quickly become your new best friend. Hi, my name is Kasper and I'm a concept designer. The building tool was inspired by ISS NASA research on 3D printing in space. Our handy device works on similar principles, so stairs, drills or even a full habitat can be quickly constructed. You are only limited by your imagination and the resources you have collected. Your base will grow in scale and breadth as you gain access to more advanced blueprints and resources. Humble beginnings quickly expand to fully automated productions. My name is Bożena Toczydłowska. I'm a hard surface artist here at Creepy Jar. Our creative team produces sketches and concepts to meet the individual needs of each asset. The functionality of each building should be clear and visible at first glance. That's why during the modeling process, we make sure that players can easily tell whether a building is operating or not, regardless of the camera angle. Visual effects and sounds come last as the final touch before the building ends up in-game. The world of Star Rapture will pose many threats, from the land under your feet to the stars above your head. To survive the extreme waves terrorizing this planet, you will need to create special habitats. These state-of-the-art fancy bunkers serve as your safe space where you can live and produce essential equipment you will need on your expedition. We wanted the base building to be quick and satisfying. Most of your structures will require power, which is why each building stands on a special platform that serves as a foundation to counteract uneven terrain and as a way to connect energy. We have created a system that is used to both power your base and to move around. As a result, creating a power network from conductive elements creates new challenges and opportunities. Drones in Star Rapture are autonomous. Your resources will be packed into neat parcels, picked up by drones and delivered where and when they are needed. My name is Julek Toszydowski. I'm lead programmer in CreepyJar. We wanted on-base planning to be filled with interesting choices. When expanding, you will need to take into consideration the pool of drones available for transportation and the resources you'll be willing to spend on it. A well-planned network will allow for full automation and seamless production and devote more time to other aspects of the game, such as exploration. And speaking of exploration, we're preparing tons of stuff for you to explore in Star Rapture's mysterious and beautiful environment. And we will discuss this in our next devlog. Stay tuned for the next episode, and in the meantime, be sure to wishlist and follow Star Rapture on Steam. See you in the next one.